Hi guys, today we're going to cover the cost of electricity and we're going to look at the kilowatt hour, how you work out the cost of electricity and how you calculate how many kilowatt hours you've used. So, could an iPad cost more to run than a kettle? Hopefully by the end of this presentation we'll be able to find out. So firstly, the kilowatt hour. The kilowatt hour, or kWh, is not a unit of power, it's a unit of energy. The kilowatt is a unit of power, and it's a thousand watts, or a thousand joules per second. So here's our little formula. Power is the energy, or the work done, over a given time. If we rearrange this, we get energy equals power times time. If we choose to measure power in kilowatts and time in hours, the energy transferred would be something called a kilowatt hour because we've got power in kilowatts times by time in hours. Electricity meters. One place where you can easily see the kilowatt hour in use is an electricity meter. Shown below, this is an old style meter with the little dials that used to go around and a disc that goes spinning around like this. However, modern meters are now digital as they're easier to read Knowing how many kilowatt hours or units of electricity are used allows you to calculate how much it's going to cost. Electricity bills. Let's say we check our meter and it's got a reading of 68,232 kilowatt hours. But a year earlier, the meter had read 64,822.5 kilowatt hours. Assuming each unit of electricity or kilowatt hour costs eight pence, how much would a year supply of electricity cost? Well, firstly, we need to work out the number of units that we've used. So we're going to subtract uh, from 68,232, we're going to subtract 64,822.5. And we get a value that we have used 3,409.5 kilowatt hours in a year. Now, finally, to work out how much is that going to cost, well, we know the price that the electricity company sets the uh, cost of one kilowatt hour at the current rate is about eight pence. So we times the amount that we have used by the price of one kilowatt hour, uh, and we get a final answer of 272 pounds and 76 pence. Running costs. You should now be able to work out how much it costs to run an electrical appliance as long as you know the power rating and the time you use it for, and the cost of electricity. Remember, energy is equal to power times by time, and it can be used as long as the power is in kilowatts and the time is in hours. So we need to remember, this is important, that we've got to convert, if we've got something that's in watts, we need to divide by a thousand to get this into kilowatts. If we've got something that's been used in minutes, we need to divide by 60 in order to calculate how many hours we've used. An example, pop the kettle on. A 2.5 kilowatt kettle is used for two hours a week and the cost of a unit is 0 0.08. So the total units that have been used, well, it's 2.5 kilowatts times two hours. The total amount of energy that we used is five kilowatt hours. So the total cost is the units used times by the cost per unit. So we've got 5 kilowatt hours times by 0 0.08. It's going to cost us 40 pence. So now we're back to our original question. Could an iPad cost more to run than a kettle? So if an iPad takes 5 hours to charge and needs 40 watts to charge, does it use more energy than an 800 watt kettle that's only on for 4 minutes? How many kilowatt hours has each device used? Well, firstly, let's work out how many kilowatt hours the iPad's going to use. So we've got five hours, so that's the amount of time, times by 40, but we're going to divide that number by a thousand because we need the answer to be in kilowatt hours. So five times 40 divided by a thousand we get a value of 0 0.2 kilowatt hours. Now for the kettle. Now the kettle 
it's been used, it's got a power rating of 800 watts, so we need to know that value in kilowatts. So for the kettle, I'm going to do 800 and divide that value by 1000 to turn it into kilowatts. Now it's been used for 4 minutes, so we need to times by 4, but divide by 60 in order to convert it into hours. So let's just put this into a calculator. So 800 divided by 1000 times by 4 divided by 60 and we get 0 0.05 so you can actually see the iPad is going to cost a lot more to run than the kettle okay bye for now